Miguel. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Hey guys, it's Sarah Bowman here. Um, today I thought that I would talk to you about how to find a team to collaborate with for photo shoots. Oh my gosh, you're just hilarious. Miguel, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, this is too much. Okay. So finding people to work with, um, if you're new to photography and you don't really have um, a lot of connections or maybe you're just in a new city and you don't know a lot of people. Uh, so what I normally do is I used to use Model Mayhem. The benefit of using Model Mayhem is you can search specifics not only location, but say you get a garment from a designer that are specific measurements, then you can also search for models that are in that particular range. If you're um, also into doing fine art nudes or something like that, you can also search Model Mayhem for models that are interested in doing that type of work. Normally now, I actually use Instagram. I typically either follow photographers that are I know are local and then I can see what models or makeup artists or whatever other creative partners they've worked with and then if um, I'm interested in working with them I can just contact them on Instagram. Other um, ways you can find people to work with is in Facebook groups. So oftentimes there will be um, groups you can be a part of in Facebook that are photography groups for locals. So I'm in a couple, one for my specific island, Vancouver Island, there's a group that I've joined and you can follow each other's work and see what everybody's working on which is really cool and I love seeing what everybody's creating. Or there's a Vancouver one that I follow as well. Those are the main ways that you can kind of look for people to work with, see what other uh, creative artists there are, whether it's makeup, hairstylist, model, or even other photographers that maybe you want to work with too. But yeah, those are the main platforms that I use to connect with other locals. Never worry about messaging someone. You'll, I know sometimes it's kind of nerve-wracking sending a message to someone that you don't know. You wanna don't want to come across as like a creep or something. Even I like am am worried that I'll be like, oh, do I seem like a creep just because I'm messaging just this random person? But it's you may as well like nothing bad's gonna happen. It's worth the chance of them saying yes. Um, they might be completely up for shooting with you and whatever, maybe not. I've had people that d were not interested in what I was doing or the idea that I had. And um, I was like, whatever, that's okay. Um, I'll just see if there's anyone else that would be interested. Because you don't want to work with someone that's not also on the same page as you. So just make sure you find people that are like-minded and interested in the same thing. I think that's um, it for today. If you have any other suggestions for videos you'd like me to do on, just let me know. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Sarah Bowman Photography. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. You want to do some... Guys, stop. It's okay, honey. Let's just turn around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sarah's a loser. Stop being a loser, Sarah. If you would like to support me in my photography endeavors, you can add me on Patreon. You'll have access to some exclusive stuff. And anyone that gives me $5 or more per month will be mentioned in my YouTube videos. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to. And I think you click on the bell or something like that to get notifications. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. You're so beautiful.